We are in Las Vegas. He is Brett Okamoto. I'm Megan Olivia, and we're going to talk about this Misha Tate versus Ketlin Vieta fight. This is a main event that's pretty intriguing. Uh, you know, they're both in the top ten of the division. Misha Tate had a comeback fight where she looked tremendous, and she wants to get the title again, but she's got a huge challenge in front of her. When you saw this one being made, and you, and you heard this is who the matchmakers put together, Brett, what was your immediate reaction? This is a different ballgame for Misha Tate. You know, um, she came back after five years off, and you, you, you really wanted to get that gauge of what she's going to look like. You know, yeah. she came in, in in phenomenal shape, passed the eye test, but it's like, okay, what's going to happen here in the fight? And uh, she exceeded expectations. I thought she looked absolutely tremendous. Now, I want to give Marion Renault her due, but Caitlin Vieira is a different animal. Yeah. You know, Marion, that was her retirement fight. She's 44 years old. Caitlin Vieira just turned 30 a couple months ago. She's uh, athletic. She's going to be a tough test. She's not going to be... Um, stylistically, she's a tougher matchup than Marion Renault is. So, uh, Misha Tate has... has has, like I said, done perfect so far. Like She's looked the part. She looks like she's in the best shape of her career. She said she is. She said she feels like she is. But it's it's almost like, you know, when you come back from five years off, you got a lot of doubts. you got a lot of, okay, what's she going to look like here? What's she going to look like here? And that is the next step here. What is she going to look like against someone in Ketlin Vieta who is in the prime of her career? Yeah, with Ketlin Vieta, we know about her grappling abilities. We know how strong she is with her judo and her jujitsu. We know about Misha Tate's wrestling, and that always seemed to serve her well throughout her, her years in her first UFC stint. If this comes down to the canvas and the work there who has the upper hand man it, it is hard to say right um i mean tate misha has has usually usually held an advantage in that area right um i think misha's gonna maybe be willing to test out her striking a little bit here you know and she's always been willing to just kind of bite down on her mouthpiece and force things to happen i think that that's if misha wins this that's what you're gonna see you're gonna see a point in, in the fight where misha just kind of has to use that grit use that will that what we saw her win the title against holly holm yes. and you, you thought that maybe she was out of that fight you're gonna have to see that a little bit in this fight because i do think that just stylistically this is not an easy fight for her yeah well it was one that was scheduled for the summer and now we get to see it this fall in november and just a week from now from when we're recording this so brett i appreciate your analysis as always spot on of course thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus